Hey there guys, welcome to the next video here on So So Many Things 2000's channel. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you my Chinese Dwarf Hamster. Um, there will be another video coming soon to the channel. Um, maybe I might film it tonight. All these will be posted tomorrow. But there will be another video coming tonight. Um, let me find him. My cousin requested that I film the video of my hamster. And I will be doing a video tonight on how to care for your Chinese dwarf hamster. Um, I might not do everything right, but I'm basically showing you how I care for mine. So I'm going to show you how to how I care for mine, and hopefully you guys fo uh, follow that. Um, sorry. Cat. Um, Percy! Stop that! I'm sorry, guys. Alright, here he is. Here's my Chinese dwarf hamster. His name's Moss Flower. He is approximately, I would say he was only about three months old when I got him. Um, maybe, maybe a little older than that, but I'd say about three months old. Um, he, he's really long. For some odd reason, people always mistake him for a gerbil, but he is a dwarf hamster. Or people think he looks like one. My sister said he looks like one. But, uh, yeah, he's really, really, really nice. Um, Chinese dwarf hamsters are one of the nicest hamsters there are, um, in my opinion. Because, like, a Syrian hamster, you get a Syrian hamster, they bite. And they don't like other hamsters, unless it's of their own kind. Um... Yeah, this is just, he hates being cradled. He loves to run around. So I'll put him back in a minute. But, um, that's him. He's really long, as you guys can see. There's his face. But like I said, I got him when he was, I would say he's about three months old. Um, and I got him about five months ago. So he is just about eight months old. I would say he's approximately eight months old. Um, maybe nine months. I think I'm um, either around the eight or nine month mark old. Um, but uh, they live to two to three years. Um, they're really, really friendly. They don't bite. I mean, they might bite you when you're first getting to know your scent. That's um, just one of the main things that you need to do. You need to let them sniff you before you actually pick them up and touch them. And it's good to wait seven days before you touch them is what they say but if they're comfortable with it you can pat them within three days and if they're not I wouldn't don't don't pat them uh, meaning if they if they don't want you, if they if you pat them once and they jump that's fine that's normal if you pet them again and they're trying to run away from you they're not comfortable with it if they're comfortable with you petting them within three days that's good and fine Five days if they're comfortable with you picking them up and you're able to get them within a couple of tries of picking them up then that's and then you can pick them up um man I gotta clean your wheel boss um so let me show you his cage let me move the video camera down a little bit I'm gonna try my best not to make it too shaky okay There, you guys see the back of it. Alright. Now, Justin, this is the cage. That my hamster has. It's a Critter, Univer Critter Universe um, starter habitat. It comes with a hanging nest. As you see, my nest is no longer hanging. Um, I uh, took the chain off of it. And I um, put it on the ground. He still doesn't go in it that much, but he'll still go in there if he's like running around his cage and stuff. Um, another thing that you want to look out for, um, I'll just save that for the next video that I make. But um, yeah, the 
for most of the cages that you get come with, uh, um, Percy, get off of that. Come with a, um, wheel that sounds like this. After a while, this wheel will get very, um, will get old. If, you, if your hips is like mine, he loves running in the wheel. Then, shh, then, um, eventually the wheel will wear out and it will start to scream. Like, it will go, like, what? Like, it'll start to, like, make this really, really bad creaking noise. The way that you fix that is that you put lead in it. You put lead inside the thing, and lead is, um, it won't hurt them after, because well, you wash it. You put it inside, you see the screw thing, you put it inside there, and you put pop it back in, and you'll, thanks, Percy, and you will, um, it'll stop screaming for a little while. Um, but like I said, my cousin did request that I film a video. Um, of my Chinese dwarf hamster. There will be another video coming tonight um, on how to care for a Chinese dwarf hamster or how I care for my Chinese dwarf hamster and how I got my wheel and him. Um, hopefully I get another hamster for my birthday and there will be a lot of videos of him and this hamster. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time on the channel. <sighs>